Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode on Psych2Go where we're going to discuss the origins of moral psychology in a little bit of a different format, so strap yourselves in. Today we're going to discuss the distinction between intuition and reasoning as illustrated by Jonathan Haid in The Righteous Mind. So, I tend to prefer to do my psych talks behind the wheel, so thank you for taking the time to hop in the passenger seat as we fly around Brant's hatch here. So, what is intuition, and how is it distinct from reasoning? Now, it's important not to conflate these two things because they are based on different processes and serve different functions altogether. Now, intuition, that's that uh, initial, very visceral reaction that we have to stimulus that we encounter in our environment, and it leads us to feel either that, uh, you know, feeling of approach or that feeling of, you know, avoid this completely. Now, after the process of intuition occurs, reasoning follows along right behind it. And uh, in the same way a press secretary would justify the words of the president, the <laughs> reasoning comes along to justify the initial intuition. Now, this can obviously be good or bad, but once people have that initial intuition, quite often it becomes very difficult to change it using reasoning. So. This is where people can often get into uh, rather heated arguments where reasoning doesn't really seem to be helping the situation very much. Now, this is often because you're using reasoning to try to change someone's intuition, and it doesn't really work that way. Because again, that intuition is initial, it's visceral. There's not really a lot you can do to control it, and your intuitions are largely going to come from your environment growing up. So. Let's see if we can maintain our lead over this guy here because he is right in the gearbox pretty close. We might still be able to clock in under two minutes. So, what is it that this purpose of moral reasoning serves? Well, really it's to keep track of each other's moral transgressions and ensure that we can maintain a sense of collaborative group cohesion. So. More on this topic from Jonathan Hayes' book, The Righteous Mind, which you guys should definitely check out. We'll leave a link in the description, and thanks again for joining me on this episode on Psych2Go.